There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below. But for now, today's question. The question, is tea or coffee bad for high blood pressure? There is a lot of confusion around coffee, and more specifically caffeine, and its impact on blood pressure. This research behind this topic has been covered extensively before, which you can see here, does coffee raise blood pressure? Time to clarify the confusion. To summarize for you, it's the caffeine in coffee, and in tea, that may have pharmacological effects. Let's look at coffee first. Coffee. Caffeine is actually a well-documented presser, substance that elevates blood pressure. Increases tend to be mild, in the range of 5 to 10 millimeters Hg. That's regardless of how often you drink coffee or your caffeine tolerance, although there are always rare exceptions. 1. Caffeine appears to have a greater presser effect on those with elevated blood pressure compared to those with normal blood pressure. And those effects are not suppressed by the use of blood pressure lowering medications. 2, 3. However, caffeine only appears to elevate blood pressure for about 3 hours before the effect subsides. 4. As the effect is so short lived, caffeine does not appear to do any lasting harm to the blood vessels. In fact, observational studies consistently find that coffee consumption is neutral for cardiovascular health, if not protective. 5. So, yes. The short answer is that coffee does raise blood pressure in the short term, but not associated health risks. For the long answer, you must also factor in pre-existing medical conditions as well as your genetic ability to metabolize caffeine. As a guideline for the average healthy adult, 400 mg of caffeine, roughly 3 to 4 standard coffees per day, is considered safe. 6. Tea. Tea contains far less caffeine than coffee, typically less than half, and some varieties are caffeine-free. This means its impact on blood pressure is far less apparent than that of coffee. Given the unique compounds found in tea, particularly catechins, there is actually strong evidence that several varieties may help lower high blood pressure. The strongest evidence thus far is for hibiscus tea, followed by green tea. In a study of 75 subjects with diagnosed hypertension, and not taking any other supplements or blood pressure lowering medications at the time, one large hibiscus tea before breakfast each day for four weeks was associated with an 11% reduction. In systolic blood pressure, 139.05 to 123.73 mm Hg and 12.5% reduction in diastolic blood pressure, 90.81 to 79.52 mm Hg, 7. Those effects were equal to the active control group who were taking 50 mg of captopril daily for the same time frame. Regarding green tea, a 2014 review tentatively concluded it can lower blood pressure, but it acknowledged that previous studies were not good quality. 8. So tea is neutral, if not beneficial for high blood pressure. I hope that helps. If you need more answers and advice on hypertension I've included some links in the description.